why? I don't, why? <laughs> like, we just had so much fun. Like, there were no signs. Like, we were just, everything was good. And then he was like, my friend say you sexy. <laughs> and I was like, that's a good start. Yeah. Like, Friends approve. Good. <laughs> He's like, I know you not. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> if you want, you can be my guest. You're a beauty. I'm a beast. You're a freak. What you need? Yo, what the fuck? I'm in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, as you can tell by these white people. No, just kidding. As you can tell by that bridge behind me. <laughs> we shooting another episode of Sam Foods out here. We're going to a Picklesburg festival with all the pickles tomorrow. It's gonna be fan fucking tastic. <laughs> We're actually experimenting shooting a longer extended version of Sam Foods because y'all keep asking for longer Sam Foods. So now not only are we going to the food festival, but we got a little adventures and shit like we're checking out. Yeah, it's gonna be longer episodes but for less money. No. <laughs> <laughs> we just wrapped the first day of this extended Sin Foods. This motherfucker is drunk. <laughs> so let me, let, me, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something about life, man. <laughs> So life, when it comes at you, you talk to a fat Asian man to give you a fucking eye open. Bar. True. See, they're that's what I'm pretty eyes for you. Just so you can see. I'm pretty pretty eyes, 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 eyes. See this motherfucker been flirting with us the whole time. Yeah, I'm a fucking. Yo, it was this. Uh, it was this 50 year old Filipino mom that approached us when we were shooting at this bar. No, 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 no. Huh? Approached you, my friend. <laughs> approached me. She wanted my dick, bro. And like, and like. No lie, <laughs> straight up. She was the most forward person ever. She straight up asked him for his, for his age and everything. She, <laughs> she was, was, how old are you, by the way? And I was like, oh, you know, I told her my age. And she was like, ah. Uh, but hey, hey, look, not gonna lie. You know, if it was a different time of my life, like, I would have been down, you know what I'm saying? But, like, I'm married and shit now. Dude. It was, like, this Filipino 50-year-old mom. It she was, looked good, too. It, she, she did. And it was obvious that she was, like, a, you know, she was kind of, like, just living life, having fun, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, if it was if it was a different time, I probably would have got her number. But yeah, it, it, it's, it's not a different time. She looks like you would never have to pull out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I always tell people, divorcees are the most fun to hook up with, you know what I'm saying? Because they either, like, you know, already got their tubes tied or whatever. And they just like living life, you know what I'm saying? You ever see a cartoon that gets his thumb smashed and shit? That's what I look like. I look like the thumb. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you were so red. Oh, my God, my God, my God. So we stopped by the spot um, and uh, we did like a little wine tasting and they brought us like mad drinks. And for some reason, we decided, Yo, we're gonna drink all the drinks. You stupid son of a bitch. <laughs> I love you. Drink. <laughs> I'll drink too. I'm not, you know, when we were on camera first, yeah. I was fake slurring my words. Yeah. It's real now. This is all real, baby. Wait a second. To my liver. I'm gonna tell you something. Take something about this guy, right? Nicest guy I ever met in my life, man. I'd give him my fucked up kidney if I could. <laughs> Yeah, man. I don't want it. My liver's a solid, bro. Hey, man, hey, your, your wife don't deserve it. <laughs> anyway, shout out to Chi, though. Chi, you're a fantastic person. I gotta tell you something, man. You're a nice lady, man, but you're fucking weird, man. People don't know about that shit. You're weird as shit. You stupid drawstring ponytail. You ain't fooling nobody. I would grew up in a black beauty supply store. Try to pretend like it's yours. It ain't yours. It's somebody else's. She's on a natural hair journey, bro. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, she's just fucking, yeah. Yo, drunk, you need to get drunk for every episode, dog. <laughs> tell you something, man. Sometimes when you get a pitch and you cook it up, it makes squab. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Did you just say when you get a pigeon and you cook it up, it makes squab? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> hey, man, sometimes when you get some fish, chop it up, make some beach. Eh? That's what they say. Oh my god. Oh man. Wow. This is. Drunk on the show, man. I've, ne man. I've never, I've never been around David this drunk. Uh, oh, you about to see a Gina's birthday party? <laughs> you about to see? It's lit. We canceled a whole Sen food shoot to go to Gina Darling's birthday party. Yeah, yeah. let me tell you some funny story about Gina. So years ago, <laughs> I said she was her birthday and shit, and I said, you know what? She was going through some shit. Yeah. And I was like, you know what, Gina? Because yeah. I'm your good friend, I'm gonna take you out for dinner. Yeah. I'm gonna show you everything, dude. Make yeah. sure I'm gonna make up for your good birthday, right? Yeah. Guess what? I fucking forgot about it, and I <laughs> and she hit me up. She 
goes, thanks for dinner last night. I was like, what you mean? She was like, thanks for taking me out. But I completely forgot, dude. So not only was she just fucking fucked up about her whole life experience, I fucking uh, basically ditched her. Damn, you an asshole. Yeah. So that's why we canceled a Sen food shoot at the Gilroy Garlic Festival. Sorry about it. So we could go to Gina's birthday party. It's her 30th birthday party. We're going to turn up uh, and uh, have a good time. With your drunk ass. Shout out to Drunk David. <laughs> Oh my god. Just wait, wait for this Toyota, Toyota Do it. Go wait for this Honda to go by. Do it with your drunk ass. Here you go. See, a Muay Thai roundhouse cake doesn't have a snap in it. It's a good follow through, right? So this you is go all at a slow mo. It's a 45 degree angle, and you fall it's called chopping the tree. Like you missed it, right? <laughs> but see, what happens is, do it again. <laughs> you do it three times. <laughs> so I just got dinner with the Thrillist people. Um, I brought David uh, some tacos back because uh, this fool was so hungover that he couldn't make it to dinner. <laughs> no, look at the sound of my voice. It sounds like I'm in the witness protection program. <laughs> <laughs> I had to put a little blur. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right. I didn't know why he touched me, but I tried to defend myself and I couldn't. I couldn't. Let me tell you something what happened. I'm just going to tell you guys how much we drank. <laughs> All right, so we had a fucking pickle beer, right? <laughs> Can this big. We had two fucking huge Bloody Marys. We had a mixed drink, three glasses of wine, and fucking... Um, One of those wines was 15%. That shit, I think that's the thing that fucked me up, dude. Yeah, maybe. And then we had a shot of Jameson. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, shit. <laughs> He's still burping. I know. I think only recently I could stop tasting the alcohol. And you're fucking okay. Yeah. You and I are never drinking together again. <laughs> <laughs> never. Oh. Dude, you're a demon, man. You like, you have no soul. I uh, I'm, I just I be chilling, man. Hey, you ain't chilling, man. You're you're a terrible person. <laughs> Cause I thought you'd be at least somewhat drunk. You were you weren't phased. Dude, you could really drink though. That's a no joke. You and Paul probably could hang. You fucking demon. All right. Well, when when we possibly go shoot this shit in the Bay Area, me and Paul going in, and we'll see what happens. All right. I'll be throwing up in your guys' hoodies. <laughs> <laughs> in our hoodies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro, so we just got here to this uh, Picklesburg thing, and yo, this shit right here, crazy, crazy bro, look, look at this. This literally just happened in like two minutes. Uh, shout out to Stacia, the producer. I know all y'all want her Instagram, but uh, hey. <laughs> um, and uh, yo, look at this shit, man. They shut down a whole fucking bridge for this shit, and yo, look at the people. What the heck? <laughs> All right. So, I just landed from I just landed from Pittsburgh like a few hours ago, but we had to get fresh. Did I just assume so? But we had to get fresh for Gina Darling's birthday party. We actually canceled an episode of Send Foods so we could come to this shit so we wouldn't have to hear her bitching. Wow. He doesn't even cancel for me. What the fuck? Well, I see you every day. <laughs> so, Gina has this funeral-themed birthday party because it's like the death of her 30s and shit. So we all blacked out. She looking by. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, but, oh my gosh. Look at look at Cruella DeVille. <laughs> Yo, but check this out, though. Stand up. Oh my god, that's crazy. <laughs> wow, that was wild. <laughs> oh my god, oh, oh, oh my god. It's your turn. The spread is crazy too. Damn. Wow.
This is Gina shit. Hey, fuck your birthday. Happy birthday to you! Yes, I'm right! So I'm gonna light this up. I'm gonna light this up. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna light this up. Always kill the show. The royal penis is clean, your highness. Thank you. King shit.